Hello, I'm WBZ TV meteorologist Barry Burbank, and I've got your forecast for the next several days. A little post mortem on today's rain, and not quite as productive as some preceding storms, but nevertheless, it poured at times. We ended up with about three quarters of an inch to almost an inch. A couple spots in the Cape had about an inch, but most of that rain is all done now. Just spots of mist in a few areas. And we also had some lightning. Watch that lightning pop up over the northern mountains today. That was kind of unusual. And we have just a chance of a shower coming up here this evening. Passing shower or touches of mist. That's all we'll have. Now, New England is divided by the warmth over the southeastern part of the uh, region to the chill across the northwest where the snow cover is deep up in here. What a change. Winter up here feeling like spring over southeastern Massachusetts. There's the dividing line right in there where Boston is close to that dividing line near 50 degrees. And near that boundary, that's where the fog could be the most dense coming up during the uh, overnight period. So if you're going to be driving around, watch out for some of that fog. It will be rather thick and the visibility will be poor in places. But this warmth is likely to stay in place most of the night. Temperatures may drop a little bit in here. And off to the north and west, the temperatures won't change much at all. So again, this is the visibility in miles. And it's not too bad in a lot of spots right now, but there are places where it's already starting to get foggy, and that fog will be changeable through the night. So beware of that. Watch the temperatures fall down a little bit over southeastern Massachusetts this evening as we go into the night. The temperatures fall just a tad to the lower 50s. So it's still going to be very mild night. Off to the northwest, it's mostly in the 40s to even some 30s. Tomorrow morning will start out rather cloudy, but then we'll have some breaks of sunshine as the air mass starts to dry out. And that's Sunshine will help to boost the temperatures back. And areas north and west of Boston, which didn't get that warm today, may actually go to the lower 50s. About the same temperature or a little bit lower tomorrow over southeastern Massachusetts, mid 50s instead of the upper 50s to near 60 like it was today. So it looks like it should be clearing out and um, no more than partly cloudy in the afternoon. And then it looks like Tuesday is going to be a nice sunny day with just a few clouds around. We'll see it much, much chillier with temperatures only in the 30s. So there'll be a quite a drop in the numbers from tomorrow to Tuesday. Here we have tomorrow's highs around 54 to 56 degrees in Boston. Expanding chilly air across much of the country, the southeastern part of the nation will be warm, and especially Florida. But this cold air is be going to be headed our way, and that cold front will come through later tomorrow. There's a remote risk of an isolated shower. There will be snow showers in the mountains. And then looking ahead, a very cold weather on Tuesday, and our first chance of a storm would be along about Wednesday. But the pattern is changing a little bit. The storm track is going to be farther to the south. So even though this may try to make a close pass to us, and we'll have a lot of high clouds showing up, it looks like that storm should be driven out to sea. So watch the jet stream change. A lot of cold air up in Canada. And here's the disturbance coming along, which will kick that ocean storm close to us on Wednesday. We'll have the dim sunshine as the high cloudness thickens up, and that storm will be driven out to sea. And it looks like another one will probably be driven out to sea as well late next weekend in the first part of the following week. So what we have is basically a long period of storm-free weather. That hasn't happened in months. Looks like after a mild day tomorrow, it's going to be pretty cold for several days. But again, without any storms, just a lot of cloudiness filtering the sun on Wednesday. And look at the highs next weekend. Saturday, only 29. Sunday, about 36. So finally, we have one weekend without any rain. That'll be next weekend, but it'll be cold. That's your forecast for now. Have a great week.